Thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss find the cube root of the following numbers by prime factorization method. So let's take our first one, 343. So prime factorization method means all you have to take only prime numbers. We'll start with the 2. With 2 it's not possible. Why? Because here 3 is there in units place. Then 3. 3 also not possible. Why? Because if you add all these things, we'll get 10. So 5. No. Then go with 7. So 7 ones, 7 ones are 7, 7 fourths are 20, 8, then 6 will come. 7 nines are 63. Then again 7 sevens are. So what you can write here is 343 you can write in the format of 7 into 7 into 7. So cube the root of 343 will be equal to cube the root of 7 into 7 into 7. That is cube the root of 7 cube. So here cube root and cube will going to cancel. Then what you can take cube the root of 343 will be equal to 7. Next one is 729. So let's take 729 here with prime factorization method. So let's go into start with 2 is not possible. Why? Because 9 is there in units place. Then start with 3. So 3 2s are 6, then 3 4s are, then 3 3s are. Again go with 3. So 3 8s are, then 3 1s are. Again go with 3. 3 2s are, then 3 7s are, then 3 9s are, then 3 3s are. So 729 you can write in the format of 729 will be equal to. So keep the root of 729 that will be equal to keep the root of 3 into 3 into 3 then 3 into 3 into 3. So here two pairs we are getting with keep the root. So keep the root of 3 cube into 3 cube. So that will be keep the root of 3 into 3 whole cube you can take. So here keep the root cube and cube will going to cancel then 3 into 3 that is 9 that will be therefore cube root of 729 will be equal to 9 so 9 is the answer so our next one is third one 1331 that is 133 1331 so 1331 will it go with 3 or it will go with 7 like that means it will not possible with any numbers other than 11. So 11 1 is 11, 23, 11 2 is 22, then 11 will get like that. So 11, 11 is 121. So what you can write here is 1331 will be equal to 11 into 11 into 11. So let's take cube root of 1331 will be equal to cube root of 11 into 11 into 11 that is 11 cube cube the root so both will going to cancel here cube the root and cube then therefore what you will get cube the root of 1331 will be equal to 11 so our next one is 2744 so it will go with 2 so it will go with 2 2 ones are then 2 3 is a 6, then 3 7, 2 7 is a, then 2 2 is a. Again go with 2. So 2 6 is a 12, then 17, 2 8 is a 16, then 1 will come. 2 6 is a 12. Again go with 2. 2 3 is a, then 2 4 is a, then 2 3 is a. So it will not go with 2 3 like that. Then as usual, it will go with 7. So 7 4 is a, 28, then 63, 7 9 is a, then 7 7 is a. So what you can write here is 2744 will be you can write in the format of 2 into 2 to 7 into 7 into 7. So let's take keep the root of this keep the root of 2744 will be equal to keep the root of 2 into 2 into 2 into 7 into 7 into 7. That will be keep the root of 2 cube into 7 cube. So let's take cube the root of 2 into 7 whole cube you can write. So it is there in multiplication you can write. So cube the root and 3 will go to cancel. 2 into 7 that will be 14. That means therefore cube the root of 2744 will be equal to 14. Thanks for watching.
hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss find the cube root of the following numbers through estimation so what is meant by estimation we are not going to calculate with the exact values we are going to take approximate values actually let us take 512 so for the given numbers we have to divide 3 3 digits like that before that nothing 0 take so let us take 512 so what is the unit digit here 2 for that you need to take cube 2 cube will be is what 8 estimation method means we have to follow these steps and what is the next number 0 so for that 0 cube will be equal to what 0 then here it will come in units place then it will come in tens place so 0 means below to this 0 actually this one is 0 only then above this 1 cube you will get so 0 8 that means cube to root of 512 is estimated estimated value is that one then we will see our next one is 2197 so 2197 divide this as two groups 2 1 group and 197 as another group actually here first 3 and next what are the numbers so what is the unit is it here 7 so for that you need to take 7 cube so 7 into 7 into 7 what you will get 343 so 7 into 7 into 7 you will get 343 so what is the units number 3 is there so from this 3 you have to take this is units place or ones place our next one is 2 for that 2 means below this and above this we have to take perfect cube numbers so below this 1 cube then above this you will get 2 cube that is 8 so what is the least one or you can write 1 less than 2 less than 8 so 2 will come between 8 and 1 so for that what is the least one 1 so from this it will come as tens place so what is that cube to root of 2197 will come as 1 from this tens place and 3 from this. So that is the answer like that we have to do. So our next one third one is 3375. So 3375 let us divide with the two groups that is 3 as one group. This is two groups from right side 3 first then next 375. Then what is the unit digit here? 7 is there. So what is the unit digit? 7. So for that you have to take, sorry here, 5, not 7, here 5. So 5, for that let's take cube, 5 into 5 into 5. That is 125 we will get. So here what is the units place? This one will come as units place for the cube root of 3375. Then what is that? 3. So next group is 3 is there. So 3 below this what is the perfect cube that is 1 cube above this 2 cube that one implies 1 implies 3 implies that is less than 8 so 1 less than 3 less than 8 so what is the lowest value this one is 1 so this one will come as plus place then cube to root of 3375 will be tens place is 1 then units place will be 5 so that is the estimated that is the approximate value then our next one is 5832 so let us divide this as two groups so 5 is one group then 832 as another group so what is the unit space here 2 is there so for that you have to take q so 2 into 2 into 2 we will get 8 so this one will come as units place for the cube then what is second one 5 so for that below this and above this we have to take up below this 1 cube then above this 2 cube that implies 1 less than 5 less than 8 so what is the nearest value what is the less value for that this is will come as tens place that means cube to root of 5832 will come as 1 8 that is the answer thanks for watching please subscribe Hello viewers, thanks for watching our videos. If not yet subscribe, please subscribe and click the bell icon. So in this module, we are going to discuss state true or false. Cube of an even number is an odd number, that is false. 
So cube of 2, it's an n with 8, that is, then 6 cube will be 216, then 10 cube will be equal to 1000. These are all not odd numbers. So that is false. First one is false. Next one, a perfect cube may be end with two zeros. No, it will not end with two zeros. It will be end with always three zeros. So let's take 20 cube. We will get eight thousands. Like that it will going to end. It will not end with two zeros. This is also false. It will end with always it is a even then it's always end with three zeros then if a number ends with five then its cube ends with five is exactly five cube let's take five cube will be 125 then 25 cube will be what is that so 25 cube will be 15625 it is also ending with 5. It is also ending with 5. Yes, it is true. Next one. A cube of a number ending with 0 has 3 zeros at its right. Exactly. So, what is that is ending with 0. So, this is also true. Why? Because here you can see right with, end with, right side, 3 zeros. So, that is the way. Here 3 zeros, here 3 zeros. It's ending. Our next one is cube of a single digit number may be single digit number exactly so one cube will be equal to one into one into one that is one so it's a true so it is true so what is the example one cube then there is no perfect cube which ends with eight that is false so perfect cube is there which will end with eight is two into two into two that is eight so, 2 cube is there for that, perfect cube is there for that false. Next one. So, what is our, the cube of 2 digit number may be a 3 digit number. Let's take 10 cube. This is the smallest 2 digit number. This is 10,000. So, maybe it's wrong. 3 digit number is not. So, this is 4 digit number. So, 10,000, sorry, 1000 is 4 digit number. So, this is also false so 10 q will be equal to 1000 that is four digit number thanks for watching please subscribe hello viewers thanks for watching our videos if not yet subscribe please subscribe and click the bell icon so in this module we are going to discuss fourth question that is find the two digit number which is a square number and also cubic number so let's start with one so one square and one cube will be equal to one only but it is not two digit number it's a single digit number then 2 square will be 4 and 2 cube will be equal to 8. These are all not matching. So 4 is a perfect square but 8 is not perfect square. And 4 is not perfect cube. Then go with 3 square 9. Then 3 cube 27. So this is a 27 is 2 digit number but it's not. What is that? It's not what? Perfect square. So 9 is a perfect square but it's not perfect cube. Then 4 square will be equal to 16. Then 4 cube will be equal to 64. So here 64 is 2 digit number and it's 16 is not perfect cube. It's a perfect cube. So 64 is a perfect cube but it's not perfect square or not we don't. So 64 is perfect cube with 4 and 64 is a perfect square with what? 8 into 8 so we are getting 64 is the answer like this we can do or let's take we can check by using how it is this so th this is the two digit number let two digit number two digit number equal to 64 so 64 you can write in the format of 4 into 4 into 4 that is 4 cube then again 64 you can write in the format of 8 into 8 that is 8 square. So 2 digit number we are getting 64 is perfect cube and perfect square. So 64 is, is perfect cube and perfect square 2 digit, two digit number. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.